Your vote now may mean more than ever. These are some of the most difficult times that the United States has faced in recent memory. John Ewing is running for a second congressional district seat and if elected, says jobs are a first priority. Well, I think the first thing we have to do is look at addressing the issues with jobs. When we've got 24 million Americans who are either unemployed, underemployed, or who have quit looking for work, we've got to be working harder to get those people back to work. As important as jobs are to Ewing, he sees life after work equally as important. I believe we've got to look at Social Security and Medicare long term with Social Security. It's really a very simple fix. Either raise the cap on Social Security wages so that we have more money going in so we don't have to reduce benefits or raise the retirement age right now or eliminate the cap and we have Social Security solvent for the foreseeable future. And as for the current seat holders? The Associated Press just described this Congress as the most partisan and ineffective Congress in the for recent memory. Ewing says above all, his experience makes him built for Washington. And my belief is that you need people who are ready to lead at a national level. I've done that in the Omaha Police Department with Homeland Security. I've done that as the Douglas County Treasurer winning national awards for our Douglas County Treasurer's business model. I've done that when I was the chairman of the Von Mauer Victims Fund here in Omaha when we had that tragedy. So that's what we need is people willing to take the challenge in these difficult times and people who are ready to lead at a national level. We'll see on November 6th if Ewing gets his chance to make a difference. For the Omaha News, I'm Brett Kane.